Hey everybody, we're in Birmingham, England, going into Warstone Tattoo Studio with my man Richard Abraham. And today we're going to talk some uh, tattoo stuff, right? Absolutely. All right, let's go. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. First of all, Richard, when I come into a place like this, you know, you hear the needle going, yeah. I'm always anxious to get a new one. What about you? Yeah, I am too, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I love getting tattooed. Yeah, so, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you have yeah. a lot of uh, artwork, mm. yes. different styles also. Mm. Uh, we got some uh, uh, traditional, we got some, you know. Yeah. Tell me something about the different tattoos you have, man. Um, you know, uh, I've got a tattoo in Thailand. I had to put it like with like a two and a half foot needle. Yeah. Guy just, just just kept sticking me away. That's pretty painful. And uh, sounds painful, yeah. Yeah, super. <laughs> not fun. Uh, actually, I was gonna get another one when I was there, but after the first one, I was like, ah, I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then uh, I got one um, in Bora Bora when I got married. Um, Bora Bora, really cool Bora wow. Yeah, real cool experience. Was right yeah. on the, the ocean and stuff, and guy just literally just took a marker, no stencil. Yeah. Um, just just went to work, and yeah. a lot of my uh, tattoos now um, are through my tattoo guy, Billy Rake electric tattoo parlor, so uh, yeah. I like them. Yeah, and in Bora Bora, so the Polynesian one on your shoulder. Yeah, right? yeah, this one right here, the guy just literally just went in and I just told him a little bit about me and went in with a marker and just literally started tattooing. It's like perfect, perfect lines, straight. Yeah. And I didn't even really see it until he was done. I was like, yeah. ah, that, yeah. that works. It sounds exciting, but sounds also a little bit scary because you don't know what it's gonna look like mm -hmm. and what you're gonna do. It's yeah. Like, it's yeah. gonna be there forever, right? Yeah, you know, it's gonna be there forever. And I was in a place where not a lot of people get to travel to. It's like only kind of the rich and famous get to travel there. And we happened to get married there, my wife and I. So uh, I just took the opportunity and I said, oh, I'm just gonna ride the way. So that's a very special one, a very special one, a memory in your life. If I have a tattoo, usually it has a story, not always big stories, but mm -hmm. that also represents like a period in my life or mm -hmm. something happening. Is yeah. it the same for you? Yeah, all my tattoos are periods in my life. A lot of my tattoos are for uh, family members or people that are no longer with us. Yeah. Um, you know, getting a tattoo to me is, you know, obviously on your body and it has to have a deep meaning um, or, or for, for someone that, that's uh, no longer with us. Yeah. For that matter, what's the most special tattoo you have? Uh, probably, probably I'd say my son Maximus. Yeah. That's that's always you know everything that I do is for him. So uh, probably tattoo wise, that's probably the most uh, yeah. meaningful one. Yeah, I know the story about Maximus, but tell me a little bit for the people who don't know. Yeah, he was uh, he was my firstborn son. He passed away at five days old. Um, you know, we're still not too sure why, but uh, after that I really decided to dedicate my, my life to, to building his legacy because he didn't have an opportunity to anymore. So I was like, how do I, how do I keep bringing his name to life and how do I keep people, his, his, uh, his name in, in people's mouths? And um, that's why I, you know, I started Maximus Muay Thai and, and we started actually, we got Maximus kind of like enterprises. We're doing a lot of things now. You know, we opened a gym. We're, we're, we're looking at starting a few other businesses through yeah. him. Like, it's the all next, Maximus. Yeah, the next few years is is going to be. We're very excited. Our team and I are, are is like our family, and we have we have a lot of new things coming. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and that's also because a lot of them. Yeah, this one is now on your arm, but a lot of mm -hmm. them are on your body. This yeah. was I think the first one that's visible. Yeah, mm -hmm. also because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that one's visible. I mean, uh, like this is my. Um, I just recently got this one. My, my man Billy just put this on. It's literally a cardinal. Though, by the way. Yeah, it's a cardinal. And it's it's a rose. Um, a cardinal's for my grandpa. A rose yeah. for my grandma. I just told him. I said, "Hey, man." I said, "Dude, this is what I'm looking for." And literally, I just went in and he just put this on and started going to town. He, he did an amazing job. Uh, mm -hmm. I noticed on your chest you have discipline. Yes. And back that's blessed. Mm -hmm. What's the story on that? Uh, so discipline is just always just to remind myself. You know, my dad always says, you know, you, you need discipline and you don't want to lack discipline and. Um, you know, being a man and, and getting your, your stuff done, and, and if, if you want to get anywhere in life, you need mm -hmm. discipline. And um, so, I, don't know, I was felt like I was lacking it, and I needed that constant reminder, so I decided to put it right on my chest. So every day I look in the mirror, 
Um, it's a reminder that, that I that's what I need in my life. Yeah. And then is, uh, it, is it tough on you? You you have to find discipline, or are you very it, disciplined no, person? Well, um, now I'm very disciplined. You know, especially with my life. You know, I have to be. Mm -hmm. You know, with all the kids and the businesses, uh, there's there's no there's no option. Especially training for a fight, you you must have discipline to be at this level. Uh, so so no, not, not so much anymore. But like before, it, it, yeah. before, yeah, before, yeah. Richard was, was a bit of pain in the ass. Yeah, or? that's why. I mean, before this one, I got blessed on my back. Yeah. I almost got uh, I almost got shot, um, and then wow. after that, I I decided to you know I felt like I was blessed because. I just felt like there's a higher power that stopped that. Yeah. So, what um, happened? That's different time, different story. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was. I was younger. I was not not the young smartest kid. Yeah, yeah, young and wild. Um, just foolish. Thought I owned the world and um, just being a knucklehead. So yeah, and that, that kind of opened your eyes, changed yeah, things. Yeah, it opened my eyes. That changed things. Um, you know, just just the, the transitions in life. You know, just just keep taking me ups and downs and and and. Just feeling obviously blessed and, and, and just the gift of life. I just wanted to keep progressing and, and keep moving forward. So, yeah, you need to change. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, and then on this side, of course, you saw the, the Muay Thai. Yes. Uh, it's obviously where that came from. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. when did you have that done? Well, I had this, uh, Billy actually put this, uh, he put all these on right here, but yeah. he put this on not too long uh, after because then we started the, the gym. Max was Muay Thai was really starting to grow and really starting to pick up uh, steam and stuff like that. So, I was like, I already got Maximus and might as well put the, you know, the gym name and everything yeah. so everything just goes together, you know? Yeah, like that. also on the, yeah. on the mm -hmm. elbows, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But Muay Thai, you're a kickboxer now, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm a kickboxer. I still, I still love Muay Thai, I still love to fight it, you know, but uh, glory kickboxing is wonderful. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I just love to compete, so uh, anything I can really do with stand-up, you know, I, I like it. I'd prefer elbowing, but it's yeah. alright. <laughs> I'll get back there someday. <laughs> The question people always ask me mm. about my tattoos is, don't you ever regret one? And I, I think it's a stupid story, because no, I don't, because yeah. I take every one for a reason. But yeah. still, I ask you, is there any one that you re regret? Uh, not really, I don't really regret anything I, I've done. You know, like this this one on my arm here, like with the with the hourglass and stuff. Yeah. I mean, we were, that was one of a long night. <laughs> and you know, I was like, but I, I don't like regret the meaning. I just maybe wouldn't have rushed it as much and, and when I got it done a little bit more mm. professional. But yeah. gonna, the, my, my guy's gonna clean it up for me, but okay. uh, it's just Let's like lost time. Uh, no, clean it up. Yeah, just, just clean it up. It up. I, I still yeah. like it because I still like the meaning of it. It's lost time. Yeah. You know, just time wasted and stuff like that. And plus the, you know, the 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 your your hourglass is always ticking. So yeah. I uh, I do like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how much work you still need to do on your tattoo? Or is it, this is it. No, 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 no. I'm, my my whole arm is gonna be done uh, probably in the next month uh, after this fight, and then uh, eventually on my back I'm gonna put uh, the logo. On my back, nice and big. So this well, logo. Yeah, yeah. Like we're, we're gonna keep Who's going. Who's this guy anyway? What? <laughs> that, that guy's me, actually. I, had, I shaved, you know, obviously for my son's birthday yeah. once a year. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's me. Yeah. 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 It's got, it's got to be hard, you know, because planning the tattoos around all the training and the fights, because you don't can't do it in the camp. And yeah, that that's the that's the biggest problem is is like obviously when you get a tattoo, it's fresh. You know, you don't want to get um, with the sweat and everything, and you want to get infected. So you always got to kind of. Like as soon as my, my guy has like a seventh, eighth month waiting list, so like as soon as I get done with the fight, I kind of call him and he just he sneaks me in, you know. I'm I'm glad. It's like all right, come on, let's go. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which was the most uh, most painful one? What, the, the, the Thai one with the needle? Yeah, the Thai one. I mean, they, they literally had a needle that big, mm. and we were in this I like, like we were like kind of in this like attic almost. It was like in this Thai house, and I'm like, look, and it was super sketchy. It was the first time I was in Thailand. And the guy's like, we're up there, he's sitting there, you know, he's got like Buddhist all his tattoos and stuff. And he's like sitting on this little like pillow and then he has like a needle, like, I don't know, it was pretty long. And he's just dipping the needle into ink. Right. He's got like a long thumbnail to help him hold the, the needle. And he's just like, I mean, it didn't take long to do it, but man, it just, I'm like, man, this guy just goes too deep or, or anything. That was, it was interesting. Wow. Interesting. That's uh, yeah. yeah. I was gonna get like I was gonna get like a, a, like, a, 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 a like a tiger too. Yeah. On me. And then after he did that, I was like, yeah, kind of. 
I'm out of bot. I got no more money, so. Yeah, that's a good excuse. I'm, I'm yeah, good. Sorry. I just, <laughs> just spent my last uh, bot on uh, whiskey and painkillers. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. Mm -hmm. Is it an addiction? Tattooing? Yeah, I'm not going to talk about it, you know. Uh, well, kind of. You know, I usually get, um, I'm, to be honest, I'm not that big of a fan of needles. Ah, like once Me a year. <laughs> Terrified of needles. Yeah, about once a year I get like the courage. I'm like, oh, you're tough. Go get yeah. a tattoo. And then like after I get one, I'm like, all right, I'm good. Right. It hurts, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So everybody who says it doesn't, they're lying. Mm -hmm. you're right. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Appreciate your stories. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Here's Richard.